but I, I'm concerned tonight about um, aspects of the federal government's budget, particularly the MIFO statement released last month. Because I read um, the statement by uh, Minister Wong, the uh, Minister for Finance, that described the nature of the savings that the federal government was making in MIFO, and a note of concern struck me. The minister declared proudly on the 22nd of October that an additional $16.4 billion in savings had been identified in this MIFO, adding to more than $130 billion in savings identified in the past five budgets. She said uh, the government has, made again, has again made responsible savings and prioritised important social reforms in line with labour values of fairness, equ equality and opportunity to protect low- and middle-income earners and the most vulnerable in our community. She went on to say that uh, these savings uh, would ensure, I quote, ensure the budget is sustainable into the future. Now, I wondered about what she was cutting that was going to make the budget so sustainable. And I had a look, a close look, what was in this MIFO. And what I saw made me see once again that this government has descended into blatant, unadulterated spin. Uh, the things that the government's cut in the MIFO, as is much the case for both the last budget and previous budgets, is nothing, um, nothing to do with sustainability or improving the quality of life of Australians or helping low to middle income families. Let me give you some examples. The government in this uh, MIFO is uh, pausing uh, a grants program, grants to community organisations, sporting groups, uh, heritage organisations and so forth, pausing grants to those communities. There's a saving of $157.5 million by virtue of the government pausing grants. Now, what does pausing mean? What are they pausing exactly? Well, what they're doing is they're cutting, cutting $157.5 million in this financial year, the year that they're striving for their illusory wafer-thin budget surplus, and they're restoring some of that money, some of it only, in subsequent financial years. The net effect, however, is that the government will be cutting grants to community organisations by $90 million over the next four years. The minister is planning to reduce grants uh, by a huge amount. And uh, if they're going to, by pausing the grants, uh, restore that funding at some point in the future beyond the forward estimates, then that isn't indicated in the budget papers. Now, Mr President, the question needs to be asked, why is this described as pausing and not simply cutting? There's, there's no guarantee of a budget surplus in the future. And coupled with high un highly uncertain global financial outlook, these adjustments in the MIFO are already putting unnecessary burdens on future budgets. So in what sense is, pausing, is this pausing grants, uh, and in what sense is it, is, a, is it a sustainable strategy for the future? In fact, this government is simply cutting money to community organisations. What makes that sustainable? What makes that responsible budget management? The government is um, uh, doing other things. It's cutting uh, the baby bonus for second and subsequent, uh, for second and subsequent children from $5,000 to $3,000 a child. The cut, if implemented, will severely affect at least 87,000 Australian families. Now, the Minister for uh, Families, uh, Jenny Macklin, uh, claimed when this was first proposed last month that uh, items such as cots, prams and baby capsules were reusable for younger siblings. And of course, that's largely true. However, the claim doesn't take into consideration the fact that no Australian family is able to raise a child, even in its, uh, its very earliest years of life, um, for anything like $5,000, much less $3,000. Uh, this is another testament to Labor's conventional practice of robbing Australian families to pay for its inability to manage the economy. There's nothing sustainable, nothing responsible about making these cuts. It is simply an exercise in not meeting your obligations as a government in order to find the money to deal with your short-term political expediency of balancing your budget. Export market development grants are being cut. Uh, they're being retargeted according to MIFO, but we know what that actually means. They're being cut. $100 million 
in cuts to a program which provides uh, for the capacity of Australian exporters to open up markets overseas through reimbursements of things like promotion fees under certain conditions. What is it about, uh, about cutting grants to exporters that is sustainable in this budget? Uh, is it something that the government can keep doing endlessly into the future? No, it's not. The government is simply cutting this program because it's an easy target and it helps them meet their budget, uh, budget objectives. And the sorts of things I've quoted tonight are not um, random selections of, uh, of things that uh, are not characteristic of what's being achieved in this MIEFO. It, in fact, is central to what's happening in this document. It is all about not paying your creditors. It's about not making essential payments that strengthen the quality uh, of Australian life and the, and the, uh, the quality of Australians' uh, standard of living. It is all about making short-term decisions uh, in order to achieve this short-term objective. And the idea that this somehow reshapes the way in which governments spend their money in the future is laughably ridiculous. Well, what should the government do? How should it make uh, the necessary savings in expenditure? And of course it should uh, in order to achieve a balanced budget. Well, I would suggest that uh, the member for Mayo and the other place uh, in releasing um, a document today describing, or yesterday I should say, describing uh, Labor's waste across government has hit the nail on the head with a whole range of issues which this government has scandalously wasted taxpayers' money on. $70 million advertising the carbon tax, uh, including $100,000 building three fake kitchens as part of their propaganda campaign as part to, to advertise their, their message despite the fact that a real kitchen would probably cost you only about $15,000 to build. Uh, spending um, $60,000 to design a national carbon offset standard logo to help with this, uh, this failing campaign uh, on the carbon tax, a campaign which, despite the extraordinary amounts of money being spent in it, has still left something like 60 per cent of Australians wanting the carbon tax repealed at the earliest possible opportunity. Uh, $1.4 million taxpayer-funded um, origami-style cardboard cutouts of, of trucks, trucks you know, to send the message about how to understand how the NBN works. I think it succeeds. It perfectly well explains what a massive waste of money the NBN is if you need to spend $1.4 million on cardboard cutouts of trucks. Uh, granting um, uh, a company $150,000 to produce television programs for toddlers and $200,000 to Green Cross Australia to produce um, a primary school advertising show and tell on the carbon tax is, is, nothing, is, no, is nothing sacred to this government. Mr President, what we have here is a government which is making every attempt to cut whatever it can uh, in a desperate effort to produce even the most slender of budget surpluses this year. And there is nothing sustainable about the way it's going about doing that. These cuts are basically robbing from the future to pay for today. And uh, it will be very obvious um, that these cuts simply um, uh, weaken the quality of Australian life and undermine the position of people, particularly on low and middle incomes. And for that reason, this government needs to drastically and urgently reconsider its priorities and focus on the kind of real surpluses, the sustainable surpluses, which were produced year in, year out by the former Howard government.